Konnichiwa and welcome back to Hameji. We are currently in Teo Park, which we tried to fit in at the end of our day yesterday. We got here, we saw this, <laughs> and we thought we couldn't possibly rush something this incredible. Weird and wonderful. Yes, at the end of one day in the space of an hour. So we've come back in the morning to do it justice. Let's start exploring yeah. this very strange we place. We don't really know what it is. It's time to find out. Two. Yes. Where are you from? England. England. London. London. Yes. Where did you get to know the park? Um, the internet. Internet. Yes. Have you been here before? No. No. First time. Oh, thank you. Right, this creepy bear means that we're about to get on the monorail up to the German castle. Tilly's getting in her socks and sandals. Arigato. Front row seats. Woo! Woo! Perfect bear line. This monorail is rusty. It's really bouncing quite a lot. Arigato. Go back down. Huh? No. Next one's in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Into the castle we go. Da 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 da. Konnichiwa. The inside of the castle kind of resembles like a hospital. Here, A. We're gonna collect our full book of stamps, go to every corner of the no, castle. No, no, yes, oh, look at this. Oh, wow. This is the 3D experience. Come on, stand in, stand in it. Let's enjoy our 3D experience. Is it the kids? Wow, this is a great day, isn't it? <laughs> Don't eat you <laughs> What are you supposed to do in these rooms? It's Excalibur. Optical illusion? Yeah, I, I'm starting to understand this place now. <laughs> this is, this is... very shit. I think this is where you get married. Try on wedding dresses. Wanna we'll try it on? I had a ring, maybe I would. Oh! oh fucking hell! <laughs> if you were queen of the world, what would your first, um, first thing you do? Make coffee three. Right, I think it might be time to uh, go down. There's some sort of thing you have to solve, but I think it's all in Japanese. It's all in Japanese. Must be something to do with this map. I'll hold my hands up and say it was a mistake coming here. <laughs> I'm man enough to admit that. Yeah, yes, tick. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say about that experience, to be honest. 3,000 yen, we'll never see again. These must be all the people who died of boredom in there. Here we go, the second section of the park. I'm sure you're excited this is continuing. Hey, have you got the tickets? Yes. Konnichiwa. Hi, konnichiwa. Hi, arigato. The Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe in Paris. This is a bit more like it, it's kind of cool. This park was originally built by a philanthropist who wanted to bring the world to Japan so those who couldn't travel could feel like they were traveling. Here we go, this is actually the main event, the Terracotta Army. And these figures were made in China and transported here, made in the exact same traditional Chinese method that was used to... Oh, here it is. What is it? To make the original Terracotta Army, which I've actually seen in London before when it was there many years ago.
This is the terracotta army. Army of Chinese soldiers made out of terracotta. I'm impressed by this. So the original terracotta army is the army of the first Chinese emperor who had all of these built, obviously not these because this is a copy. Uh, but like I said, it's made in the exact same way and basically are exact replicas. Uh, he had them all buried with him. So the army could protect him in the afterlife. Oh, they've obviously moved the uh, broken ones into this corner. That was cool. That was cool. That was the best thing by a mile we've seen in this very strange trip. We're going up here. Apparently. What a surreal place this is. You don't think you'd be doing this in Japan? No, I don't know where it feels like we are, but not in Japan. It's not really anywhere, to be honest. No, it's like we've slipped into a parallel universe. This brings back memories. Shout out to the man who built all this though, it's actually quite impressive. I think he made it his life's work, he wanted people to enjoy this forever and I'm sure they will. There's a lot of money in here. And a lot of money in here too. More terracotta army folk, but they almost look like monks or like Buddhist Shaolins. It's a lot of them. What's the cost of a lot of money to build this? Our journey through China in Japan continues. What's this? No idea. Right, we're leaving Teo Park. And today we're actually leaving Hameji. We're heading to Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. Kobe! Now we're gonna go get some vegan food. Because we've had enough of vegan carbs. Cafe. We've been eating a lot of Japanese food, which is amazing, but like just quite heavy. Um, Carb heavy. We're just gonna try to get like a nice veg bowl. We're gonna continue our theme of doing stuff in Japan that isn't Japanese today. <laughs> Middle of nowhere by the looks of things. Hello. Ooh, this is cozy. These are the kind of places Tilly finds. She does all the food research. We end up in nice cafes and I do all the activities research, and we end up in trippy German castles filled with uh, 3D events. Just translating the menu. We basically got a little Middle Eastern meze platter. Yeah, some, some mushrooms. Spread. This um, homemade mayo. I read hummus. Mm. Red cabbage, carrot, harissa. Not that is. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Arigato. Warm pitta. And I read that the pitta is from a local lady. How lovely. Well, that was fucking amazing. So good. Tida Cafe Hameji. Come here through the area. Arigato! Arigato, yeah, thank you so much. Nice. Thank you. It was delicious. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye. What nice people in that cafe. We, uh, we paid the bill, we left. The whole reason we went in there was to avoid eating carbs. And then there's a nice gesture, they've given us these... Carb balls. Japanese rice balls. I but wonder what they are. Should we we're going to eat them anyway, so... Free food is free food, hey? Is this a supermarket? Huh? Oh, look, it's cheap in here, right? This is our favourite section. If you wait, all freshly made, by the way, to, on the day, we're all Japanese supermarkets, the sushi. If you wait till about quarter to six every day and they all get discounted, they all get rid of us. That's when we move in for the kill, fill up discounted sushi, throw up the next morning. Pockies? Pockies are like, what are these called in England? Mikados. They're like the Japanese Mikados, they're so good. Japanese snack food is on point. Arigato. Arigato. Ah! <laughs>
Very clever. Arigato. Thank you. I think I'm ballsy. Yes. Oh, no card. Cash only. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Sideways? Wow, that's super on its way. This is a crazy supermarket, this one. And look, you could, that's clever. There's a, there's a microwave to heat up the food. If you I get a ready meal. Arigato, arigato. Arigato. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. Look, you can buy the like katsu curry and heat it up. Yeah, and that's the bagging area. So you don't bag. Yeah, look. It's chill, like in England, where everyone's waiting for the person to bag. As you saw, I went to the machine to pay that wasn't at the end of our till. They're going to sign you to a different one for pure efficiency. And here are the best crisps in the world. They're right there. Oh my! We should have got some. These. These. Are the best in the world. We're being healthy today. But they're four layers of this kind of like, if you've ever had bugles, they taste like that. Bugles. Four layers. Right, let's go. Layers. Oh. Idiot. This is our haul for the day. We got some fucking balls and some sausages, mate. 500 yen. What are they These saying? Are the best such humans I've had in the world. The rain is pouring down now. We can't check into our hotel in Kobe, miles outside of Kobe, um, until seven. <laughs> until seven because it's such a cheap dump. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, we're gonna seek refuge in the cinema, which is something we've done before. Uh, Japanese cinemas are pretty damn cool. So let's go do that once we get out of this rainstorm. It's got potential. It is a zero. Right, we couldn't get into the cinema, but well, we could, but there were no English films left, so we've come bowling instead. Oh, I already get so angry at this. Bowling is the most frustrating game. I've had two strikes so far already and followed them both up with a six. Which means your strike is basically just wasted. It's, it's like consistency is everything. This one, I mean, I like gold. Right, next one. Come on, you can get a spare. Oh, one left. Look how swagged out our crepes are. Yours kind of work with your outfit in some weird way. I do, but you look kind of... You look like Air Force Ones or something. I thought that when I put them on. That's decent, you know. That's decent. Oh! That was pretty good. That was a nine. I think mean, that's your best score today. Oh. That guy's an absolute beast. He's just been nailing strikes the whole time. Third and final game, I'm getting over 100. Tell you what are you getting? 50. No, come on. 70. Well, I haven't got 50 yet, so... 50 it is. That is nice. Oh, that is unlucky, Eds. Eds, you can still do this. I'm going to do it. It's going straight down the line into that bad boy. What do you think, yes or no? Are you ready for this? I think no. Oh, well done. Here she goes again. The best bowler in the alleyway. It's not bad, you know, it's got potential. It's got potential. Don't cause me a shot. You're about to come over there. Someone's taking this seriously now. Oh no. I had a spare and a strike before that. I've just ruined my whole score. Spare strike one. Spare strike one. Hopefully I'll get me. I can't believe it. Yeah. That means I made it to 50. I did it. Till he got a strike. 
And now I've got one shot left. I need five to get my 100. Otherwise, Eddie makes me do this all again. Otherwise, we're playing another game. No, Ed, we're not. We're not playing another game. Five for the 100. You know, if you get a strike, you keep going. You're back. What? Look at this. We're, we can just put this part in and people think we're pro ballers. Oh my god, it's another strike. Is it? Oh, it's nine. It's nine. I got 68. My strike's gone. I got the strike for you. Double strike nine. I took Tilly's shot. I still need five to get my... Nah, this is a joke. You just stole my strike. <laughs> oh, okay, you'll go. Ed. You stole you, my strike. You need to sharpen up. I can't believe this is happening. So I got double strike. What? Oh my god. Oh. Ed, you need to get a five. This is it, the final shot. I've taken, given Tilly a strike, so if I don't get five here, I'm actually not getting a hundred. Mum. That was all right. I'll take it. Tilly got 68. We have a massive double strike nine to finish. That's pretty good, I'd say. My strike came in useful for you, I'd say. Before that, it was a uh, four in a row with no points. <laughs> four got double gutters in a row. All right, I got over 100. I can leave relatively happy. Thank but you. Imagine what could have been. What if I hadn't got a one after the spare and the strike, and that strike had been for me, not Tilly. Fuck it. Sorry, I'm leaving that. I'm leaving it. It's this done. It's done. It's done. Look how professional they are. Yeah, this is what he's doing. Look how cool. I don't know, he's doing some sort of... I don't really know. He's drawing on it. This is real professional here. Authorised pro shot. Yeah. Arigato! Professional all of this is. I don't know they take bowling so seriously. Oh my god, the pickles are so good. Right, we found a nice dinner spot. It's a bit fast foody, but to be fair, this katsu, I've got chicken and pork. Tilly's just got pork. It's so good. It's really damn good. It's called, and um, yeah, Coco's Curry House, and it is a bit of a chain, like a katsu chain. But we've been wanting to try it, and it's cheap, and you get a lot of it. Yeah, this is the biggest portion I've seen mm. in Japan of anything. This was like a thousand yen. Um, so yeah, we're going to tuck into this and we're going to end today's video here. An insanely random video, but we've been driving across Japan for more than two weeks now. And this is the kind of random day you have when you don't really have anything like proper plan, like a proper touristy thing to do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little insight. Um, do you have anything else to say? This is delicious. Come to Coco's Curry House. Please so enjoy that dinner. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh.